TLO, what's pop? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to go to family from Chicago to the UK. What was that? <laughs> uh, what was that? Go see. Oh yeah, shout out Nathan, man, for another gifted. That was the gifted. Anyway, uh, you see it behind me, just a warning screen. Lately, this show has been needing warning, so uh, don't forget twitch.com. That's where you can catch the lives. Usernames at the bottom of the screen. We do have merch as well, and we also got Patreon where we post five days a week, man. Let's get into it, man. This is Polite. No, this is Can't Pay, We'll Take It Away, Season 5, Episode 4. Talk to me. This season is quite negative. <laughs> I salute it. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair Threats. use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. My bad. I know y'all heard that full echo the entire time. I forgot to turn it on. Huh? A recent survey by a leading trade association reveals that the number of businesses paying interest only on their debts has nearly doubled in one year alone. Last year, 20,000 businesses said they'd be unable to repay their debts if there were to be a small increase in interest rates. Over the past three years, more than 15, 1,000... Oh my God. More than 150,000 UK businesses have struggled to pay debts. Aaron Graves and Max Carraher are High Court Enforcement agents. Who? Aaron, a former soldier, served in Afghanistan before retraining in enforcement six years ago. Let me tell you something. If you're in London, nothing's going to prepare you for this. I understand you fought. I thank you for your service. But this is debt collecting. This is a whole nother ball game. <laughs> and former prison officer Max has been enforcing High Court writs up and down the country for over a year. Did you know that being a bailiff or an enforcement agent is one of the oldest professions in the world? It's the second oldest profession. <laughs> Today, they're on their way to recover £1,800 owed by a car dealership, New Peterborough Auto. But what they hoped would be a routine job is about to turn into a living nightmare. Yes. Talk Max and Aaron no, have move. arrived without a film crew. But luckily, Aaron's security oh body God. cam can record one of the most shocking and unforgettable cases. The oh, this about to be negative. They didn't double down on it. Hold on, let me, because they messed me up. Is about to turn into a living nightmare. A living nightmare? Max and Aaron have arrived without a film crew. But luckily, Aaron's security body cam can record one of the most shocking and unforgettable cases the agents have ever encountered. Shocking and unforgettable. Listen, let me fix my, let me fix my hair follicles. All right, let's go. Um, we're here with a uh, right? Um, we need to speak to somebody about that. Uh, I know you guys have actually gone out. Oh, has he? Okay. Yeah. You came on the phone? Yeah, uh, he's, he's going to be driving in a minute. As the writ is against a company and not an individual, the agents are able to enforce it without the owner being present. Right, right. There's an outstanding balance that's owed. Yeah. Um, yeah. That we need to collect on. Yeah. That hasn't been paid. Where it comes to money. At this moment in time, it is at eighteen hundred thirty-one pounds sixty-five pence. Eighteen hundred quid. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in a position to make that payment. I'm not, no. You're not. Okay. No, no chance you can get a gentleman on the phone. There is no chance. Okay. As the man refuses to get the owner on the phone, Max owner. has no choice but to seize goods to offset the debt. 
we're escalating the case to the removal stage. Um, we are going to be removing goods to sale at public auction. What, well, today? Yeah. yeah. My first instinct when dealing with him was he was hiding something. I knew he, I knew he was up to something. He don't know. Um, it was just a matter of waiting to find out what he was up to. L listen, how do you own a car dealership and not have $1,800 on hand? Especially one of these type sketch dealerships. You got money on hand. Like you, j At this point, you don't want to pay. The agents now start looking for assets they can take. Aaron spots some valuable equipment in the garage. The tools are a lot less expensive to remove than vehicles. There's a brand new uh, snap-on tool chest in there. Those are expensive. But the agent's actions haven't gone unnoticed. Why don't you just take three vehicles? What vehicles do you have, mate? How many vehicles are I'm there? I'm not going to take you swearing at me, OK? I'm Calm speaking down, to you mate. reasonably. I'm, if you want to swear at me, I won't... Well, I'm not swearing okay? at you. Listen, I'm, I'm getting very agitated with your behaviour. I've had okay. my court agents here before. OK. And, and I've dealt with them properly. Yeah, you, whenever I've told you to take vehicles, they've taken vehicles. There's plenty of them here. I know how much all this stuff costs. Why don't you just remove three vehicles? Call, call no, no, no. I agree. Just because it inconveniences you to take vehicles, if I ask you to take some vehicles, just take the vehicles. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't, it shouldn't, this shouldn't be a thing right here. I've never seen it in five seasons. Take, take the vehicles. It's the high, it's the thing there with the highest of value. Sure, it's a pain to take them, but take the vehicles. Bro's bugging out at this point because he used to be a prison guard or whatever he is this the, no this the prison guard right the truck down three more expensive to be honest and one big van is it yeah yeah absolutely wait is there no way you've got the means to pay this at all I haven't no if I did you think I'd not just pay it off when we began making an inventory of goods the atmosphere changed it, there was almost poison in the atmosphere <laughs> <laughs> With the man still refusing to cooperate, the agents continue to make a list of assets to take. But he's still not backing down. That's been seized, mate, so don't move that. I'm using it. Uh, yeah, sure, mate. It's, it's yeah, is it? Chuck, if you enjoyed filming with us, we just called we'll the just police. We'll just get a place you know, here. Yeah. Well, that's oh, it. Right. We've got to remove that. I know how much they're worth. Yeah, I think So why? Think I'm bothered. What? I'm using it. I don't think you're bothered. I'm using it. I'm trying to make it piss me. For some reason, there was something that stood out about this guy. He, he, It'd be the littlest people that be th 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 that talk the toughest. He giving the hardest time. I ain't never seen no dude my size give a hard time, really. It'd just be the littlest people that be going s crazy. It wasn't your average car salesman. The way the situation was changing, the way his body language was changing, it, it just went from bad to worse. Moving goods after they have been seized by high court enforcement agents is a criminal offence. Is somebody going to get arrested? decides to call the police before matters get out of hand. Good morning. I've attended an address uh, for a company and... Um, Even the music is eerie. This is a smart move. We're starting to move goods around that we're trying to seize. Um, the gentleman's becoming quite aggressive. Uh, starting to swear at us and stuff like that. Thanks very much. Cheers, thank you. Bye-bye. The police are on their way. Aaron and Max continue to make their inventory, but the man is getting even more agitated. Yes, why didn't you do all this shit when the police is here, then? We're doing it now. Why is that? We've got to well, start. Why do we need to stop? Right? I want you to start when the police is here. It's not going to happen. We've got to rip. These machines yeah. are about seven, eight grand. You're trying to take the piss, mate. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm a lot the shutter up anyway, so it's... That's kidnapping. Cold's in prison, and then we're allowed to smash our way out. Is it? Yeah, that's fine. It's human nature to be scared when threats of violence are made. It's a dark garage. I haven't been there before. There's tools, knives all over the shop. We're in a pretty remote area, and all these factors are... See, this is why I can't be a, 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 an enforcement agent, because I will want all the smoke, me personally. Once you get to talking to me a certain way, then you're going to... Like, my innate reaction is, show me. What was that, sir? 
I'd like you to show me. <laughs> like that, that's the energy that I be having for people. With the man now trying to shut the agents inside the garage, they must act fast. While Max keeps the shutters open, Aaron moves their van to stop potential assets from being driven away. Bro, they're overdoing it though. I'm not. I, I want to be like the. I feel like the agents is for sure overdoing it. Stop potential assets from driving away, bro. You're in the garage. Whatever's in the garage is going to take care of the debt. You don't need the garage plus cars. But I, I understand. At the same time, but I feel like they low key. Low key within their rights pushing buttons. But then Max believes he's heard the man threatening to get a weapon. Why do you need him? I'll find out. Sure. Where's the rip? Place, please. Um, the gentleman's now gone to get a um, weapon. He's trying to lock my colleague in a. Um, like he's trying to shut the shutter down on my friend, my colleague. Um, the, the situation's getting quite bad. So we need urgent police assistance, please. But while Aaron is on the phone to the zone. police, the man walks back into the garage. We're what? Turn! Yeah. No, obviously we're in a car garage, she could be everything. What's my boy? Huh? Can you please turn towards him, gentlemen? Yeah, he has. Just ain't let that thing rip out here. Did he do that? I, first and foremost, I was not expecting that. I knew we was gonna get violent, but I ain't know. I, I ain't know we was taking it to this level. Yeah, he has. No! Fuck! He's just got an explosive. Fuck you know. He's got a gun. Fuck you know. Fuck! 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 Mate! Get out! Somebody tripped? Fuck you know! Fuck! Is that a used condom? I don't know. Mate, there's fire. fire! He's got fire on. Please! Please hurry up, please! Fuck! I know bro ain't just up pole over $1,800 in a business environment. Bro, you're going to jail for 13 years. Why would you do that? Not only do you have a firearm, you discharged it. Even if it's a fake weapon, you did it with intent to... What is it? Intent to... Whatever it is. That's tough. You're a dummy. That's dumb. That's that's idiot, Mrs. That's, that's stupid. You know, stop. It's never that serious. Not when there's like... These are like... It's a court document coming in here, buddy. It, it ain't no regular dude walking in here trying to strong arm you. <laughs> Fuck you. Please hurry up, please. Bro talking about some, he's let off an explosion. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna let it High play. High court enforcement agents, Aaron Graves and Max Carraher were in Peterborough to collect a debt of 1,800 pounds from a car dealership. Wait, is there no way you've got the means to pay this at all? I haven't, no. If I did, you think I'd fucking uh, not just pay it off? The man they met wouldn't cooperate. That's being seized, mate. It's a bone move that. I'm using it. And as the agent started making an inventory of assets... Yes, why don't you do all this shit when the police is here then? I'm gonna lock the shit up. The case took a dramatic... Bro, it's over tough. Bro, I... ...take turn. That's my boy. Oh, fuck! He's, like, he's just like an explosive! Fuck! Fuck you know! Whatever it was, it sounded like a gunshot to me. Max! Get out! It was there to scare us, and it certainly did. I see Aaron quickly moving away, 
be screaming to me, move, trying to get the police down. Everything. I don't know if it was a gunshot, but it was a something. It was something shocking. It's going absolutely crazy. Fuck you all! Fuck! Please! Please, oh yeah, please! I ain't gonna lie, this would've been my last day. It was absolutely terrifying. <laughs> I was fearing that he was gonna come and attack us. My vehicle God, was blocked this in. Been my last day. So I wasn't able to get that out. You can't prepare yourself for that sort of situation. The agents don't know for sure what the explosion was, but until the police arrive, all they can do is try and keep safe. Eyes open, mate, because they might go over the field or try and come close yeah. to us, yeah? If they do, obviously, fuck off over there, yeah? Yeah. I mean, there ain't much cover over there. There ain't much cover anywhere. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll go in He's coming, he's walking out the front. Yeah. We're gonna get shot if they don't hurry up. Do you know how far they are? Mate, I feel sick. I'm not even gonna lie. At this point, like, this job ain't that. You know what I'm saying? This job ain't that important. Waiting for the police just felt like a lifetime. It really did feel like it was dragging, and no matter how much you beg them, they can't get there any quicker. Ten minutes after the explosion, I need interceptors. I need armed police. Explosion. An armed response unit arrives. There you go. At this point, honestly, it don't even matter what it was. Buddy, bro, about to get a little bit of jail time. Like my explosion from when we were inside, we had to bug out. Uh, do you see a firearm in his hand? I didn't see a firearm, no, I just see a massive flash. Of... You're right. Well, oh, mate, it brought back yeah. Afghan, that dude. Aaron's a big chap, he's an ex gunner in the army. It really hit home for me when I saw the, the effect it had had on him. You expect perhaps that going to war you're going to get violence. You really don't expect that, enforcing a high court writ in a car garage. That's a fact. Bro fought in a whole war as a gunner to come home and <laughs> and this to happen? Uh-uh. No way. I survived. I'm not losing it here. Peter, bro. PTSD. While the police investigate what the explosion was, more employees arrive on site. Sorry? Engage in conversation about that. Thinking you got shot at. <laughs> That's a battery pack, Bob Jobs. All right. A battery pack, was it? Christ. Is that what it was? Yeah. <laughs> Nevertheless, it was with intent to cause fear. You know what I mean? Ain't that a charge? Yeah. It didn't sound like a, a battery pack to me. It was. It was very loud. I understand that violence can be sometimes part of the job. It's hard. It really is hard to deal with. The whole situation was just terrible. With the garage now a suspected crime scene, the agents have no choice but Lisa? to abandon the case. For now. The agents have no choice. With the garage now a suspected crime scene. This guy look like Lisa right here. The agents have no choice but to abandon the case, for now. In order to not escalate the situation, we'll just leave when he's done with a statement. In certain jobs, confrontation is a huge part of your day. We've had hot tea thrown at us, we've been pushed around, we've been punched. But this was a first for me. Are we gonna get like a little footnote? Two months later? That's a cliffhanger. Well, that ain't fair. After waiting for the police to finish their investigation, the agents finally have the chance to go back. And this time, Paul Bowhill and Steve Pinner are on their way to the scene. Of you gotta throw real professionals in there. Aaron and Max's nightmare. We're in the countryside here. Well, it's Fenland, isn't it? Yeah. This actually is the edge of the Fen. The police couldn't Top find gunners. any firearms on the site. 
and the man suspected of letting a gun off was released without charge. Oh, but the debt remains unpaid, and Paul and Steve have been sent to settle the case for good. If there is an issue, we'll deal with the issue as well. As, you know, there's not a lot else we can do. Well, so far as I'm concerned, and you're almost there, we live in a horrid time anyway. Still no film crew. <laughs> Because of what Max and Aaron encountered, this time the agents have the police on standby. I would guess this is it. Can we drive it? Yeah. Peterborough Auto Sales and Repair. Hello. Hello there. We're High Court Enforcement Agents. The same dude. And we have a rip to serve here today. Uh, a Against New Peter Auto Limited. They're finished. Then this is no longer here. So who are these? These are scar files. This is completely different. They moved. How long ago? Uh, a couple of weeks, month max. A couple of weeks. The same dude. They're done. Interesting. The man isn't the same person who it's was not. arrested during Max and Aaron's visit. This is the same dude that took call of the battery pack, ain't it? But he did arrive on site after the explosion. See, the kid he got Here shot is. <laughs> the battery pack popped off. Oh, right. Paul and Steve aren't aware of this, but they are suspicious about the man's claims that the garage is under new ownership. OK, you say this changed over a couple of weeks ago. This is under Star Auto now. If we take it like step by step, is the riches for these premises, unless we've shown absolute proof, new lease, new VAT return, new insurance and so on. I don't know where it is because my brother's out at the OK. Unable to supply the agents with the documents requested, the man calls his brother, who he says is the owner of Star Auto. Yeah, what's it called? The High Court's here. What's it called? Where's that paper to show that we've changed new While the man is on the phone, Steve spots a document on the desk. Save you looking for all that. You've got a piece of paper here. New Peterborough Autos, Kingsdale, Whittlesley, dated the 28th of October, 16. Yeah, obviously old letters are still going to come here. Isn't 8th of October, 16. It's only a week or two ago. Detective work is part of the job as well. You need to find the facts. They're saying that this isn't the case, that isn't the case. Ask them to prove it. It's eighteen hundred dollars. Y'all have that. And then you're running around, picking up pieces of paper, looking at this, and it's blowing their story out of the water. The recent invoice indicates New Peterborough Auto is still trading right. at the address. So Paul gets on the phone to the man's brother. Hello. Yes, my name is Paul Bowhill. Unless we see a bill of sale that's transferred all of the assets on this site, including the lease and everything to go with it, and the transfer... Just get somebody down here and show us and we'll go on our way happy. I'm 72 years of age and I've been doing this job for 35 years. And I've heard this story heaven only knows how many times. And I'm not prepared to accept that this is a completely new company. So either we go away from here happily with £1,831.65p or we'll take one or two vehicles because by then the cost will have increased. Talk to him. I'll go out and we'll call the recovery vehicles. OK. Fine. You see what I'm saying, though? You see how they came in and went straight to recovery vehicles, let's get the cars. The other dudes was doing a bunch of extra stuff. I knew they was doing some extra stuff. That's You're antagonising them. Like, I get it, but like, bro, just take the car. <laughs> With the man's brother not cooperating, Paul steps outside to start another new inventory of assets. Sorry? What's going on now, then? We'll just have a look around, see what we can cover the debt with. Yeah, but... Obviously, that debt's with the old company, not with me, so I'm not going to no. allow anyone to take my goods. The only way you can stop this happening is to produce a bill of sale to show that all these vehicles were sold out by the old the company we're looking for to the yeah, new well, company. I've got them papers here handy. 
1500 pound bill. Fuck all to do with Marcel for all this company, and you're trying to tell me you can't take 12 grand worth of goods. Because that makes sense, mate. It's bullshit. All well, them people you're uh, skanking and robbing. With What's the man change? still insisting the debtor company is no longer trading, Steve changes tactic. He finds new Peterborough Auto's website and calls their number. Hello? The man answers. <laughs> Hi there, is that uh, new Peterborough Auto's? <laughs> hey. um, you, got, you had a Mini in there last week. Is it still there? You still got it? Can I come down and see it? Okay, thank you. Oh, what a, what a, what a, what's the right word I'm looking for in UK terms? Belland? Steve has blown the man's cover. So, let's oh. just cut to the chase. Let's just pay the bill and we can go happily on our way. Save all the messing about. What do you want to do? Call red hand. All I can say is, well done for trying, but it's We're not, not going to work. Nothing. Everything we've looked at has got new Peterborough autos on it and traded. Phone calls just been made, answered, new Peterborough autos. They're even, even the for sale signs of new Peterborough autos. I can't believe you're making this sort of fuss and prepared to risk the, like the, the upset for two grand. Nothing to do with Okay. Don't talk to me as if I'm a blooming first timer. When we go into a situation where people are giving their excuses that companies change names and so on and so on, well, I suppose no. my own personal view of this is how dare you underestimate our intelligence <laughs> because they're just pulling the same old uh, explanations, the same old well-tried and tested systems, <clears throat> but they may not have come up against people who really know the answers. The agents have now been at the site for over an hour. And with the man still refusing to take responsibility for the debt, I'm taking the most Paul and Steve car. have no Always other option time. but to start seizing assets, Figure escalating the debt to over three thousand three hundred pounds. What are we going to do? The, the Audi and the Mini. The Audi and the Mini. Okay. And both are free of finance. Because of storage and auction fees, the agents have to remove two cars to cover the amount owed. Hi, John. Um, there's a little bit of resistance, they're not going to pay, so I need two lorries with uh, lifting capabilities. Okay, thank you very much. Cheers. If anything changes, I'll call you. They actually want to take it away. But with the recovery vehicles on their way, the man becomes increasingly hostile. What happened the last time these bailiffs come down? Oh dear. Armed response was called down here. Really? So there was a young chap in there and he's let off a firearm at one of the bailiffs. Oh, and, so uh, he did. You're admitting to this on camera. That's how I know you really not. You know what I'm saying? You're not really about that type of life. You wouldn't even have said this stuff. You're not that, at least. Uh, they've shot out and gone up the road and ran the armed response and then they've come down and was it fine with him. So did he fire at him? I think he did. I don't know. Oh, I'm not really yeah. sure. Well, I'm glad he ain't here today. Boy, are you snitching? I don't know whether that was to try intimidate. and intimidate us. Maybe by him mentioning it, maybe he thought that we might back down. I mean, at the end of the day, it has no effect on us. 45 minutes later, the recovery vehicles arrive. It was the recovery troops? Yeah, AS, AASP, that's the kitty. And the team start loading the cars. We're going to take this one. That's automatic. The Audi. The Audi, yeah. Okay, that's automatic. And the Mini. We came away. The results have been achieved. We went away with two vehicles. Okay, pay. We'll take it away. Y'all heard this comments. The debt would be paid, and there had been no blood spilt. There was, to some extent, uh, a feeling of relief that it hadn't gone horribly wrong when it could have done. And if we were to be um, set with the same situation again, we would deal with it in exactly the same way. For what was a potential... Sent them professionals, boy, them seasoned veterans got it done immediately. They weren't trying to hear none of that. They was all right. Yep. Do what you do, buddy. ...the dangerous job, Steve and Paul have succeeded in enforcing the writ unscathed. Sorry. Sorry we met like this. Yeah. It's OK. All right. You take care. Bye for now. He looked defeated. No, I take that in the nicest possible way. 
No hay misplaced. Against yeah, all odds, Paul and Steve secured the results they needed. But in Matt and Ian's next case... Please don't tell me to calm down. Ah, 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 ah. Hold on now. Y'all doing too much. Some more rookies? A leading consumer charity reports a dramatic rise in the number of people seeking help about parking fines. Research has shown the average private parking charge is £83. It's estimated that 20% of drivers get a penalty charge notice every year. 2015 saw a 39% increase in debts relating to unpaid parking. To oh my God. Belper, Derbyshire. High Court Enforcement Agent Matt Highway and his colleague Ian Taylor have a writ to collect over one and a half thousand pounds owed by David Gray in unpaid parking fines. Right then mate, what we got next? David Gray? The singer? Course. Hopefully mate. Don't think he lives in Derby does he? He's just up here a bit on the left I think the looks of it. He got there. No vehicle. Well, he got told. Take it away. If Mr. Gray can't or won't pay, we'll take it the away. agents have the right to seize any of his assets to cover the debt. Is that a dog? Yep. Is that the dog? This dog got the same energy, but it Hello, got an sir. energy for Good morning, how are you? Yeah, Can I speak to David Gray, please? Uh, he's not here at the moment. He's not. Well, he didn't actually live here anymore. I think he's at work now. Right. My name's Mr. Highway. I'm a High Court Enforcement Agent. Yeah. You give him a call, I'll explain it all to him. Yeah. Uh, there's High Enforcement uh, Agents here. Alright, you're coming up now? Yeah, bye. On his way, yeah? Yeah. It's great stuff. So is, it, is this your house, sir? Uh, no, well, not my house. It's uh, my mum's house. It's your mum's house? Yeah, uh, my mum and dad's house. Right. Years ago. Mr. Gray's son claims that his father no longer lives there. But Mr. Gray is still listed on the electoral roll at the address, so the agents have the right to stay and investigate further. When we attend a property, we don't know anything about uh, the debt or who the he ain't got no neck. defendant is. A lot of times it can open up a whole story. The brother can get involved, the sister, the mother, the father. Uh, there's nothing worse than the money to drive you know, issues within a family situation. Ten minutes later, Mr. Gray arrives at the address. Up there, quick. Hello, Mr. Gray. Hello, sir. I'm here with a high court writ. It's now standing balance of £1,649.99. What vehicle was that again? I don't have no idea. I can call and get more details about it if you like, if you really don't know anything about it. Yeah, I, I can, yeah. Mr. Gray doesn't appear to know about the parking fines. So, so Matt waste comes time, the office to find out more information. The gentleman telling me he knows nothing about this. Can we get a little bit of background on it? Yes, it's Foxtrot Papa 13. Hmm. Well, that's it yours. No. Ah. So, registered. registered to you, then. Yeah, I'll sign for it. There you go. I'll sign for it. I'll finance for him first. Well, newish girl. Okay, oh, lovely. Yeah. Penny's dropped now, I think. <laughs> It turns out that the parking fines are against a car registered to Mr. Gray, but actually being used by his elder son, Josh. It'd be your own thing. It sounds as though he's not paid his, um, his fines. Unfortunately, it's come back. It'd be your own family. You get your license suspended like that in, in, in America. You, you're driving with a suspended license in America. You'd not pay a ticket. Do you, sir? A moving violation. There's any way I could pay so much. I don't know what to make isn't so unfortunately no, it's a high court writ. Well, I'll have to bring my wife. Okay. Make whatever phone calls you need to make. Yeah, I'll see uh, More and more nowadays the bank of mum and dad is massively important. Mums and dads are bailing children out of their issues all the time. That's why the generation right now is so toe up. We broke. We broke. <laughs> 
half of us don't know what hard work is in the generation behind me oh they really they really down bad you know what I'm saying? If the internet has ever crashed, it's yeah, 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 they're done. You know what I'm saying? It's over. They're often vehicle related. It's a minefield to get into because, you know, what you're doing, you're doing out of the best interest of your child, but it's not necessarily going to end up very well. Hello? Yeah, hang on a minute. I'll go on. Minutes later, Mr. Gray's ex wife, Mel, is on the phone. Hello? Hello? Hello, that's Mr. Highway High Court Enforcement Agents. I am. Uh, I can help. Uh, right, I'm on my way over at the minute. Okay. I've got. My mate says she can give me probably a couple of hundred, but she'll have to go to bank. Right. But I can't get up a thousand pounds. I've earned the minimum wage myself. I can give you what's in my bank, but that's all about it, and I don't give a note until I've had a look. Okay. But the bank's we're here for is 164999. And that's just from them parking things. Which car is it? It's a Vauxhall Corsa, is it? Oh, FP. Oh, that's a fucking shit heap. Yeah, fucking stressed out. If you want to make your way home, and then we'll see what we can do when you get here, yeah? <laughs> right. Probably the best okay. option. All right, see you soon. Mm. She's gonna come curse something out. I know it. She's not happy at all. I can feel it in her, in her tone. Hello. But then, right. Mr. Gray's son Josh calls to speak to Matt. Hi Josh, Matthew Highway, High Court Enforcement Agent. How much has got to be paid today? Because I don't get paid until tomorrow. As it stands, it's one thousand six hundred and forty-nine pounds ninety-nine pence. You'll probably just have to take good, sir. No problem. Okay, I'll pass you back to Dad then. All right, there that's, we. A, that's a doesn't seem that bad. Well. son. take goods from this house that you don't live at or that you're not at. Let's be honest, isn't it? <laughs> Some writing saying take goods, but they're not as good as ours. Well. There's lots of other things to think about in your youth than who you owe money That's to. That's bogus. A lot That's of the time, youth sound. hides behind the fact that they know they've got mum and dad there. They know that if push comes to shove, mum or dad will solve it for them. With his son not yeah, taking any responsibility for the debt, Mr Gray decides to see if his father will help him out. Just tell the tea, my wife when she gets hurt. I've just looked to my dad's. Yeah. Where you going, sir? You, I know you're going to your dad's, but like at this moment, you you the you the common denominator in all of this. You the calm, soothing spouse when your wife pull up. Just then, Mr. Gray's ex-wife Mel arrives oh, home. Oh man! Oh, ex-wife. Hi, madam. Is it Mel? Are you coming in? Yeah, just at the door. Please don't tell me to calm down. So all I've done is cry from one end to the other. I've got your money. Mel has managed to raise payment in full. I'm about to try and go to family and friends to go okay, and get it. All right. So we're going to sort it then, OK? I wouldn't be so bad if it was... I, I can't even drive. Mm. It's, I'm not... I'm not going to go and you no, no, no. paying you because yeah, yeah. the money's got to be yeah, paid. Yeah, I know, I know. But if I did it myself, yeah, I yeah. can understand. Yes, yeah. No, I mean, I've got two knobheads. The the writ, the writ they is belong to me, unfortunately. Fucking son of me, fucking ex-husband. It's not that bad. Why did they make it seem like this was about to be? You know what I'm saying? And for sure, I thought she was about to turn up when she pulled up with that haircut. Oh God, this is the let me like I tell you, this is the let me speak to your manager haircut. But it's also the I get stuff done haircut, and she got it done. <laughs> Tell you. Yeah, I mean the the Fucking um. Car shit. I'm, I'm absolutely livid. I really don't need this shit. This is the thing right. about Josh. Mm. He's a 21 year old that thinks you know, thinks he knows everything. And do you want me to count her? Yeah. Yeah. Please, because I'm shaking. I'm so angry. All right. Yeah, I got a nice little setup. Sorted. Good furniture. But then Mel receives a text from her son Josh. He's just messaged me saying I'm getting the money together, give me 30 minutes, but I'm going to let him, I'm not going to tell him I've got it, because I want him to pay struggle to get the money together like I have. So you should pay you, you know, back. he earns £4,000 a month. Well, he's just lost some of it, hasn't he? Minimum wage each week, I've got a three-bedroomed house, a son that's at college, and I still manage to pay my bills. What's he doing? Because you get stuff done. It's written all over your face, in top of your skull. You get it done. I get it. 
There's a car salesman. Pleasure of seats. Thank you. Over an hour after they first arrived, Matt and Ian finally collect the £1,650 they came for. I wouldn't that want to be out of the sun or the uh, husband when they're going to get his out there big style. Yeah. The husband never came back. <laughs> That's tough. My brother was like, let me go call my dad, see if I can take care of him. He went home, sat down, took a beer with his dad, and that was it. Ex-husband. Nearly 20,000 county court judgments against businesses were issued in England and Wales over the third quarter of 2016. The average value of a CCJ against businesses rose by 17% in one year alone. And now it... But why? But why? Really? Why? I just do all that for it. Oh, they're <laughs> they're taking the piss. Brother. Listen, we don't need that last bit of episode. Yeah, see, I'm fine. This is rose by 17% in one year alone and now exceeds 3,500 pounds. It never happened. The total value county court judgment issued against businesses in the third quarter of 2016 is 1.75 trillion or billion. High court enforcement agents Max Carraher and Paul Bowhill are in North London with a writ to recover just over 2,000 pounds from a property company. We're off to see Residential Freeholds Limited in Hendon. We're looking to collect two thousand one hundred. Twenty pounds and fifty-one pence. Just uh, parking down one of the side streets. The debt is for costs arising out of a long-running dispute with the claimant. Central Square, here we go. And Residential Freeholds Limited must pay the two thousand pounds in full today. Three or four there. Oh, We're we looking for five. Five is it? It's this one. The, one that's the closed agents down? have found the address, but the door appears to be locked. Seen y'all coming, didn't they? Hello, here for residential freeholds. Never heard of you. No problem. We're High Court enforcement agents. Have you got a copy of your either your rates or anything to show that residential freeholds aren't here? Yeah, don't want to hear anything else. I'm the property manager. Okay, we need to see some documentation just to show that the company we're after isn't operating from here. I don't have that information. You must have some paperwork showing what business operates from here. I can show Is... you a, a letterhead. Okay, yeah, that's a good start, sir. If you could show us that, that would be great. Yeah, I just try that's to get them to open the door. Suspicious. No, don't have that either, actually. You don't I have, have that either? Come back tomorrow with someone can help you. I can't help you. When somebody doesn't want to come to the door and answer us, then that's really a, a point in our favour because it's telling me that they've got something to hide. If they didn't have anything to hide, they'd let us in the property. 100%. You're right. The man claims he hasn't heard of the company, Residential Freeholds Limited. No uh, proof that the debtor company... No, because he's in there stretching on y'all. He's playing with y'all right now. ...on the writ but he hasn't shown the agents any proof that the debtor company no longer trades from the address. Max and Paul need to investigate further. But first, they've got to get in. We're going to have to make forced entry if he doesn't want to play ball. Just a word of advice here. Business, we, we business premises. Business premises. Entry. We have the yeah. right to force entry if we need to. What do you mean? How can I help you? How can I physically help you? I'm missing about five seconds before. 
Okay, you, okay and I'm about please. five seconds from getting a locksmith here. Okay, that's, that's fine. Fair. You call, you call okay. the police. I then. can't help you. We have a writ which entitles us to break into the property, and you're being evasive. I'm not, sir. I don't know anything about it. If I'm being, I'm being truthfully honest with you. So we're asking you just quite a simple question. What is the name of the company it's which there. operates from these premises? Moreland Estate Management. That's the uh, person I work for. I can have to show you a contract. OK. Would you like to show us that? Yeah, for sure, definitely. The man claims to be Mr Emmanuel, working for Moreland Estates Management, based at this property. But with the man's growing agitation, the agents are suspicious that Residential Freeholds Limited also still trades from the premises. OK, you're going to have to let us... Look, we're going to come in one way or the other, OK? I think you're being evasive. You just are. You're being so excitable and evasive. Either way, I'm going to be having this chat with you inside your property. People do get into a really emotional car? state over visits like this, but some of the relax, emotional man. reactions to us are really over the top. It immediately raises your suspicions that they're up to something, they're trying to avoid the consequences of meeting. That's what I've been called, they're lax, The you're agents not, have been outside the... Y'all not gonna have me outside in the rain and the cold and it's wet, like, I'm, no office for nearly 10 and minutes. You pay for it. Suddenly, inside, the atmosphere takes a turn for the worse. Lawrence. Lawrence, that's him. In the heat of the moment, Mr. Emmanuel has inadvertently let his guard down. He said, call Lawrence, company's house, the registered director of Residential Freeholds Limited is... Lawrence, Lawrence Calvin, Calvin Froyland. That will possibly explain explain why this why so chap crazy. is is behaving like this. Yeah. It's clear that despite his earlier claims never to have heard of Residential Freeholds Limited, Mr. Emmanuel does know its director, Lawrence Freilich. She was. A the agents are growing more suspicious that the business is still operating from here. But without paying access, they can't get definitive proof. There's got to be a rear entrance. But as Max goes off to check for another entrance, Mr. Emmanuel takes action of his own. Damn. Oh dear. We just put the shutter down. Mm -hmm. With the man determined to keep the agents out, will Paul and Max ever get the £2,000 they came for? Ain't that assault? Max and Paul were in Hendon, North London, trying to recover a £2,000 debt owed by a property company. Hello, Hello here for residential freeholds. The man they met refused to cooperate. Come back tomorrow and someone can help you. I can't help you. And took drastic action to keep the agents out. We just put the shutter down. I would have went to the hospital. Torn, torn rotator cut. I'll leave you for one second. <laughs> just put the shutter down. Right. On my shoulder. <laughs> Unhinged it. <coughs> it's clear Excuse that Mr. Emmanuel won't back down. Hey. The agent's only option is to call for police assistance. OK. Hi, uh, we're High Court Enforcement agents. There's a gentleman inside the property. He hasn't come out. He's closed a shutter onto my elderly colleague's shoulder. <laughs> That's of the elderly. Um, it's uh, broken the shutter because it closed with such force. All right, we're on our way. Brilliant. Thank you ever so much for that. Thank you. All right, Thanks. Bye. cabin now. With the police on their way, the agents try one last time to reason with Mr. Emmanuel. Hello. Hello. Hi, are you going to stop messing around and come and speak to us? It's your choice to put your shoulder under the uh, door. It was your choice to close the pay. shutter. Oh, yes, that was advice. Yeah. I think you'll find that I'm actually protecting my own personal safety. Protecting your own personal safety? Well, the police will come here yes, and deal are. with that. You've just broken our shutter, which is what We'll see about that when the police get here. It's on camera too. Minutes later, the police arrive. 
Good afternoon, gents. This looks like the A-team. My name is Paul Bowen. <laughs> yeah. We're High Court Enforcement Agents. We have a writ. Okay. Not for a fortune, which is a critical point. Spoke on the entry phone. The guy inside there immediately sort of had a real hissy, hysterical fit. He then dropped the shutter, and I was standing close to the door. The shutter's hit my shoulder. I stayed put, and he carried on with the shutter. Are you um, injured at all? Probably bruised is the answer to your question. Yeah, hello there, it's the police here. Could you uh, open the door and let me come and speak to you? As Mr. Emmanuel unlocks the door for the police, Max seizes his opportunity. Oh, slides right on in there. But even with the police present, Mr. Emmanuel tries to obstruct him. Sorry, you have enough for that. Get your hands off me. Mate, get your hands off of me now. You're obstructing an enforcement no. agent, all right? No. Listen to the police. No, let me let me just stop. Right. I am wound up like there's no tomorrow because I'm right. so stressed out. I've never had to experience this before. So if I could just explain to you. And I cannot provide Can I the, the required paperwork. Got it. Yeah. This dude. Oh my god. He is irritating. The level of you know what I'm saying? I've never experienced this before. Well, you're going about it the wrong way, man. You know what I'm saying? To be able to actually help them. Right. That's my problem, okay. You finna cry? The issue is, they have a writ from the High Court. I appreciate that. Which gives them power of entry, using force if necessary, to enter this property. Yeah. Could you just move? Move out of the way. Right. Okay. With the agent's authority established, they now need to look for evidence that Residential Freeholds Limited still trades from this address. Wow. In an organisation right, like this, trouble. we would expect to find, have you got a, a certificate of... of, of Public liability I'm sure insurance. But I haven't got answers to that. But then Max finds exactly what he needs. Lawrence, Lawrence. Yeah, it's all to him. That's our director, Lawrence Freinick. He's the MD of That's why he was trying to hide. That's why they kept coming to this corner, because this was his desk. Bingo. The documents all relate to the director of the debtor company, Lawrence Freilich. Thank you, kindly. Now all the agents have to do is find him. If you get I wonder if they ever sent somebody to jail though. Lawrence on the phone to make payment, then that'll get this problem solved. Could have did this from the beginning, man. Unfortunately, police are in the room, followed by the delightful gentleman and his good friend. Let me just pass you over. One second, one second. <laughs> Hello. The company that we're looking for is Residential Freeholds Limited, which according to Company's House, you are a director of. Well, the second is. The amount that we're looking for today is, is 2,768. Two yes, absolutely. I'll just pass you over to my colleague and he'll take the details down. That's my like okay, immediately. Excellent. You see what I'm saying? Bro did all it is for to call up the dude and him to pay immediately. Do I, why do you even do all of this? Mr. Freilich immediately offers to settle the nearly £3,000 debt in full. Goofy. Hello, sir. Are you about to uh, make the payment? <laughs> we'll overlook the shutter incident. That can be can done. That no, that's OK. I was instructed to do so. Paul has been thrust himself under the door. I could stop it once okay, it's stopped. OK, it's a bit like... Stop it. OK. Let's take an amusing view of this. Somebody's shooting at me, but I didn't stand aside. Well, you should have done this. It's a bloody bullet. Okay. Right. <laughs> hey, Thank good you point. Here's the point. <laughs> done. If you get a shot at, you better move. You can't duck this switch. Yeah, all done here. The case is resolved peacefully. So I've heard in songs. Thank you for your time. And Paul is even prepared to help fix the broken shutter. Drop it down slightly. Okay, now, now up. Well, thank you for your attendance. It made all the difference. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it. See you later, ma'am. Absolute classic. But I do actually think that kid, the office manager, is genuinely, genuinely, he had a total panic attack. Luckily, the shutter did. He did. He's never been in this situation before. He's a good guy. I Can left you know? my colleague unattended for only a minute for a split second. 
And when I came back, which is it irrelevant, the tornado is. had hit the shop front. Great work on that, Paul. Great work. Well done, sir. That's it. Oh, oh, so they do get the money returned. I knew they did. If there's extra, the money gets returned to them. That makes sense. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications. I'm gone.